Hello, my name is John Trial, and this is my biology role models project on Dr. Floyd E. Ramsberg. Uh, Dr. Ramsberg went to Ohio State University for his bachelor's degree in chemistry and graduated in 1988, then attended uh, Cornell University for his PhD in chemistry and graduated in 1994. Um, I didn't find anything on his uh, interest growing up in science, but um, I did find that going into his uh, doctorate, he was very interested in genetics and expanding upon that even more. And some obstacles he had to overcome was uh, the backlash he'd get for his ideas and trying to expand the genetic uh, alphabet. And for his hobbies, I didn't find anything in particular, but I did find a lot of his um, involvements in the scientific community. Um, so currently he's a professor at Scripps University and he has his own uh, biotechnology companies and he actually has a, a few of them um currently he is a co-founder and member of the board of directors for synthrox but before that he was a co-founder and board of directors for rqx pharmaceutical and some accomplishments he's had over his career is he won a Lo nobel laureate signature award for a uh, his research in genetics and also a bioorganic chemistry award from the Royal Chemistry Foundation. Um, what I admire the most about uh, Dr. Ramsberg is his hunger for to keep learning. No matter how much he knows, he doesn't get complacent and he always wants to learn more and uh, he always wants to accomplish more and add to more to the scientific community. And uh, he also gives back to the community by uh, being a professor at Scripps College and passing down his knowledge to others. Um, the field of biology that he currently resides in would be the mainly in genetics. And uh, the big question that really got him going in genetics was uh, if there was more to genetics, like more letters to the genetic alphabet. Could we see more in the genome and could more be expressed? And because he asked such a simple question, he was able to be the first person to uh, make a semi-synthetic bacterium and make two synthetic nucleotide-based pairs to create new proteins, new functional proteins, and just expand upon genomes even more. Um, but recently, his research has included uh, an essay called A Tool for the Import of Natural and Unnatural Nucleoside Triphosphates in Bacteria. And as complicated as that sounds, this experiment really only had him focusing on on making unnatural nucleoside triphosphates. Um, that would do specific functions within the cell. Um, he fulfilled this by using specific techniques like a passive diffusion across the cell membrane and a conventional competitive uptake sites. Um, for the future, however, uh, his next steps would be to make more protein-based uh, antibiotics, and he hopes to understand uh, cellular stresses and DNA damage more.